YouTube, what's going on? I got a series. It's just you and I, baby. No one on Twitch, nobody involved. Just you and me, me and you. And right now we're on PlayStation. But this series will be played on Xbox once my new controller comes in because mine. Bro. That's a side note, though. What do we got? What is the series? Well, it's going to be called Program Poppy. Now, what is Program Poppy? Pretty simple stuff, right? Okay, so we're only allowed to use players. Wow. Excuse me, only allowed to upgrade our team with cards that are featured in the program. We can only buy cards in the program. We can only earn cards in the program. We cannot use any other card in the program. What does that mean for you guys? How do you guys get involved in this series? You will be determining who I pick up in terms of my choice packs and who I will be buying because every win equals one purchase credit, right? That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna push our way to World Series. That's gonna be every single se every single new program is gonna be another season of Program Poppy, another inter iteration of it. And the whole goal is to get to World Series using this squad. Now, what is our starting point? Well, I decided to go with a BR team. We used the BR draft format in terms of what the requirements are for a team. And we built a team using that. So three diamonds, yada, 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 this many goals, all that in between. Uh, if and, and some ratings were changed after I built this team, but I think I made up for it and I covered all the grounds. And I, I think I meet the BR team requirements. You guys let me know in the comments if I didn't or if I made a mistake or if this one too many of these one too many of that but as you see there's some gold mostly commons bronzes silvers my man's a silver but he's supercharged baby so we'll take him when we can now how do you guys determine who i upgrade the most liked comment right underneath this first video will determine who i pick up first and what i mean by that is this the first pack is at 10k xp which i will be ha i will have i will most likely get uh, all the way up to probably this pack today you guys determine who i pick out of these five out of these five here and out of these five here okay we're gonna talk during this video about the cards that, that dropped because the new program features some demons it is the sizzling summer program with five bosses first up we got honus wagner 96 overall center fielder for the pirates right plays everywhere but he's a center fielder to start first second third short left and right contacts are pretty good 109 106 not great though good as for a guy who's not got a lot of power 70 65 power contacts are pretty good vision annoyingly high because it makes everything else uh have to be lower and they raise this bunting to 99 therefore we had to sacrifice a little bit of this a little bit of that and we have 87 fielding 86 arm 86 reaction 92 speed 99 base running ability and steel so he'll be lightning fast out there in center and everywhere he plays don't play my first please that is a waste that's the first pick we could get he's one of four we get to choose from this first pack Mike Piazza, 96 overall. Mike Piazza, 103, 108 contacts. Good, very good. 101, 115 powers. Very good versus lefties. Good versus righties. 76 fielding, 74 arm, 83 block, 38 speed. So they sacrificed his reaction, speed, vision, discipline, all that. A little bit of fielding to make him juicy offensively, which I like with a first base, secondary. Next up on the list, Raleigh Fingers, who's incredible. Sinker, slider, fork, four seam. With a 111 hits per nine, 115 K per nine. You guys see these cards, man. You guys see these cards on your own. I'm not going to go through them too long. I don't want to be here too long just breaking these cards down. Stan the man, though. I love him. 107, 116, 92, 96 power with right field. Goal fielding the start. 78 reaction. Plays first, left, and center. 53 speed. So uh, one of the faster stands we've gotten. He'll be pretty solid and right. That, those are the guys we're going to try and work our ways to. Other than that, most liked comment after this video. We'll determine who we take out of these packs and i'm gonna have these three packs acquired by the next video so out of these three packs here check them out on your own i showed them right in the video if you want to rewind out of flashbacks and legends the first one the flashbacks and legends gold from the al the second pack 25k xp and 30k xp the classics choose one out of these three packs you guys pick who i take and upgrade my team with out of these three okay that's what we need to do i'm going to use some of these guys in moments so you guys can see them and talk more about my strategy and how i will get this done no money spent on this account as fast as possible let's get into honus's moment quick now normally and probably what i'm gonna do off camera is road to the shell grinding still the best way to do it go beginner mode turn everything off except for hitting moments turn off all your cutscenes, and just mash go put it on beginner that's disgusting put it on beginner anchor your pci middle low and you just press x when the ball floats in because they throw only fastballs and you hit tanks at a, if you're on next gen change your field to a, a um like a low a max elevation low dimensions field and get to raking get xp that way and you'll fly through the program very very quickly especially if you haven't if you haven't acquired all the archetypes yet get over his head no way that 65 power like that 
Oh my god, with this speed to get on your horse. So they still gave Honus Wagner a bobblehead, which I'm cool with. But hey. Does he have a fade? Do we have fade Honus? Does he have he's got black air forces on? This Honus is different. But yeah, so as you see, same. He's got a little bit of fall over his swing, but I really like Honus. I think the way his stance is put together, man, I really do think he's very compact. I think it just allows you to hit the ball well. I like him, especially versus lefties. But yes, road to the show grinds. What I'm going to do on my alt and my main when I'm off camera. Picks to make here. I think if you're going to go offense, man, unless you're really into like contact guys like Honus Wagner. Um, yeah, see, that pops a little low, baby. I would go with um, Mike. I think Mike's great right now in this meta. Lefty heavy starting pitcher meta will be a crusher. Uh, platoon. A very good platoon with Joe Maurer if you have him. Uh, big fan of that. Big fan of that. The fact that he can platoon. I like Stan the Man too if you're looking for a lefty offensive bat, but I think the must have, if you want to get crazy with this, is Raleigh Fingers. We are desperate. Get in the hole. We're desperate for bullpen arms like you've never seen before. So it's very important that you guys lock up Raleigh Fingers. I really do. Every, I think everybody should have him at this point. What am I looking at? Sleeper cards oh, that to notice. That's Seth Lugo. He'll have that annoying windup, which will suck to pitch with, but will throw off your opponent. Plus, very good. Very good hits per nine. I'm pushing that. It worked out in my favor. Very good hits per nine. That annoying little windup is going to work in your favor. So, oh, you got to get three hits. They also dropped a new event, the Carlos Santana. He's there. Silver Slugger. First baseman only, which kind of sucks. But he's a lefty killer know. off the bench. Another guy. Um, other cards that we should... I'm trying to think right now that I saw. Honestly, that Bo Bichette looks pretty fun. Um, that Geo... They do a Geo Urshela flashback card in there. Monthly award. He looks incredibly good offensively. Uh, slow third base option, right? That has a lot of pop. Guys that have slept on. I really enjoy that card, man. Some other flashbacks that they included were like that Joe Adele. That, you know, that's no, back when attributes there. weren't really that, like, that serious. So it's not that great of a card. But those are some other cards to pick up. I think what other content did they release? Oh, the, the Fernando Valenzuela that everybody gets. I forgot to mention that. He comes after the you get your, your choice packs. He's everybody gets them. Everybody gets a free Fernando. So they're contributing to this meta of lefties that are dominant. I don't know if he's going to be as good, guys. I really don't. Say, he beat we don't know up. this for sure. But in 21, last year, when he first dropped, he was nasty. Screwballs were unhittable. They were very tight to break, and it was fast and gross and just hard to line up. Um, but I do have a theory that they shadow nerfed screwballs at some point um, because he was just so crazy hard to hit. Can't confirm it, obviously, because it's a shadow nerf. I don't think that they said it. But since then, he hasn't been as effective when his no-hitter card came out last year because that was his first card that was killing everybody. When his no-hitter card came out, it wasn't nearly as good, despite, you know, the idea that it should have been. So he might be good. He might not. If you dot with him, he's got that nasty screwball. So ne definitely another card to look at. Other than that, you know, we're going to try out these guys. This is, we went through Honus. You guys saw him. I like his swing. I do well with him. This is Stan the man. I love Stan. He stands nice and far off the plate. He's got a quick, no waste emotion motion swing. Um, some people say he's got a noodle bat. Now, he's out. I disagree. All right, I like the Stan card we had last year. He was uh, essentially, what do we have to do in this moment? He was essentially 125s versus lefties and like 125, 103 versus righties. So he was like really Ball good. One. It's always fun to have a guy like him who's a lefty who, who's better power numbers against lefties because it keeps things a little interesting. And hey, it's lefty heavy meta and it's the same. It's the same right now. If you check out Stan's stats, he's 116, 96 versus lefties. That translates to, I know people hate this, but 121, 101 versus, right, versus lefties. What else could you ask for? I like Stan. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand Stan until I can't no more. So. So people, so he actually starts hitting these noodle bat flyouts for me, but we hope we don't see that. Oh man, they keep showing me Mike, but we're gonna get to his moment soon. But yeah, that's how we get. That's how we're gonna do this, guys. That's how it's gonna be. Make sure you type down below who I should take. Okay, most like comment will dictate who we add to the squad, and we cannot. It's gonna be all ranked seasons. Anything online will be ranked seasons. We cannot uh, boost our squad any other way. So like throwing flawless and BR as an example is not something we could do. Um, I mean, we could. We could do that. We just have to sell the cards for money, and then we could use that those stubs to pick up players that we could purchase in the program. Because we are allowed to buy. Like I said, one buy after every win is the thing we're able to do. Only of cards in the program, though, because everything is sellable in this program. And we get, I'll say for making World Series, we'll get, we can get three. Three upgrades to the squad. One upgrade after every win. The cards we earn, right, through the program are not, they're not, uh... 
nope. locked away oh, until we get an upgrade, right? We can, if we earn the card through XP, we could take it. Which you guys will pick, but it's when we need to buy more players because, you know, of course, the squad's a little, uh, a little short on, on talent here with right. all those commons and bronzes and spots we gotta fill out. And as always, we will restart this every program. We'll wipe our squad. Uh, we'll go back to the BR type build as soon as this program ends. Our journey here ever, episodically will be to get to World Series with this team, and then we'll stop. That'll be that's it's gonna be season one of Program Poppy. Starts right now. I feel like it'd be fun, a nice immersive way for us to get involved and kind of enjoy something together as a unit. Now, I'm gonna just try the other cards out real quick to end this video off so you guys can get a little bit of a feel. It might influence who you guys want me to pick up. I hope you guys like it because I think I'm gonna really enjoy this. You know, uh, the best part about MLB The Show 22 and just about their games All in general is always the content and the variety of cards we have at our disposal. Raleigh looks really skinny. Okay, Raleigh. I do think Raleigh would be very good right now. He's what we need. All right, there's Raleigh, Mr. Big Mustache. You guys saw him, you saw Stan, you saw Honus. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of Mike. This is Mike. That's gotta go, baby. That's gotta go, right? That's gotta go, game. First swing Mike puts on the ball, he hits it out. Sadly, it looks like he's got that same long swing, but hey, you know what, man? It is a lefty meta. Joe Maurer, fresh out the shower. I love you, but you hitting the bench. Swing looks a little long, but it's got some juice behind it. I don't know why old Yankee Stadium feels like it's impossible to hit the ball out of. Now, the question's gonna be, is Joe Maurer still better than Mike Piazza? Of course. Better contacts, uh, pretty much overall. Um, the power is not there compared to Mike. Obviously, Mike's got them more over, like, but still, Joe Maurer is right, he kills it. But Joey's got a lot better speed, a lot better defense. Definitely a better swing. The only advantage Mike has right now over Joe Maurer no, is state. the fact that he's a right-handed hitter and lefty-centric meta. He's so fun to pitch with. Get Frodo to ground out here. That should be a strike. Three. First of all, it should have been a called strike, if we're being honest here. That should be it. All right, you guys have officially seen all the guys that are the headliners, so to speak, the stars of this um, new program, so it can help you influence your decision. Uh, Jay, who's editing this video, shout out to Jay Mills. Type we love Jay in the chat if you watch this far, or in the comment section, excuse me. Hope you enjoy the video. Please like this video. What we're gonna do is, let's set a like goal, man. If we hit 400 likes on this first video, 400 likes on this first video, it will be an additional upgrade to the team on top of the ones we get for winning games. That would be, it's gonna be, it'd be great. That'd be very, very good. We are low on stubs, but we can always add that. We can always add the stubs. Like I said, guys, from the first three packs, give me your picks who we're gonna take. Top liked comment will be deciding what we're doing here. If this video is a little clunky to start off, it's because I'm excited and I've never done something like this before. So bear with me, let's be excited together. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, put that bell on so you don't miss any of these series. It'll be uploaded. I'm gonna shoot for Wednesdays and Sundays. I think I'm gonna shoot every Wednesday and Sunday. We're gonna upload an episode of this. So be ready for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time, man. Peace.